Today we will be exploring chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or more commonly known as CTE. CTE is a neurodegenerative disease that is characterized by a repeated history of traumatic brain injury, or TBIs. This means not just one severe hit to the head, but a repeated history of multiple concussions and TBIs. People that are more at risk for developing CTE are athletes in contact sports, veterans, and victims of chronic abuse. You may be wondering what occurs inside the brain when a traumatic brain injury occurs that leads to the development of CTE. What happens inside the brain with the initial brain injury is the brain trauma causes parts of the microtubules. An organelle inside the neuron breaks off. This causes tau protein to be suspended inside. This suspended tau clumps together into what are called neurofibrillary tangles. These neurofibrillary tangles intrude on the brain's functions and cause brain atrophy. The major symptoms of CTE include cognitive impairment, memory difficulties, behavioral issues such as aggressive and impulsive behavior, motor difficulties and difficulties with sleep. Individuals with CTE will also often show symptoms of major depression, and unfortunately many of those with CTE attempt or commit suicide. Individuals suffering from CTE will also have increased aggression and risk-taking behavior which can often lead to irresponsible financial decisions and in extreme cases, domestic abuse and murder. You may be wondering how you move forward with this information. Unfortunately, CTE cannot be formally diagnosed until after death. This is because the only way to determine definitively know if someone is suffering from CTE is during an autopsy, when the medical examiner is able to observe the neurofibrillary tangles. New research that has been released every day is increasing the understanding and knowledge on CTE so a diagnostic assessment may be available in the near future. Another unfortunate fact about CTE is there is currently no cure, and because it is a neurodegenerative disease, the symptoms will only worsen. However, there are symptom therapies that are available for those suffering with CTE. Although these therapies do not reverse the effects of CTE, they assist in improving their quality of life and slowing the progression of the symptoms. Some symptom therapies offered to those suffering from CTE include antidepressant SSRIs to help with their low mood. Beta blockers can be used to help with feelings of aggression, and olanzapine is effective in helping with psychotic symptoms that can occur in later stages. Continually, buspirone has been found to be effective in treating anxiety and paranoia that is often felt by those with CTE. A number of therapies, such as cognitive behavioral therapy and neurorehabilitation, have often have been found to be effective in treating behavioral symptoms with CTE. There are also a number of resources that are available to those suspected of having CTE. This includes the Concussion Legacy Foundation, a website that includes real-life stories of individuals with CTE, recommendations for sports organizations to reduce the frequency and severity of head trauma, and provide a number of resources for individuals with CTE and their families. Their mission is to prevent CTE and learn about the neurodegenerative disease by having former athletes donate their brains to science after they pass in order to expedite the finding of a cure. To conclude this public service video, CTE is a neurodegenerative condition that is caused by the long-term impact of head injuries, especially in sports and in military combat. It's crucial to raise awareness, support research efforts, and implement preventive measures to protect athletes and individuals from the devastating effects of CTE. Together, we can make a difference in promoting brain health and safety for everyone.